and welcome to the channel of Ecoholics. So in today's video, you are going to learn how to find the value of OLS estimators. So when we all start studying about regression, we all know what regression is. We all easily know what are their assumptions of the linear regression. But when it comes to finding the value of the slope parameters or intercept parameters, we all feel stuck. But don't worry, in today's video, I'm going to teach you a method which you can use everywhere, like whatever form of the regression you might get, either it's going to be linear form or it's going to be in the regression through origin. You can use this technique in all of your methods to solve for the OLS estimators. So let's see what we have to do. All right. So this is my population regression function, which is given to me in the first equation. Now, to estimate my population regression function, I take help of sample regression function over here. Correct? So it is given by yi equals to beta 1 hat. So wherever I will be putting a hat symbol, it will represent sample estimation. Because when I am finding the value through sample, I am estimating their values. So yi equals to beta 1 hat, beta 1 hat is the estimator of beta 1 from my population regression function. Similarly, beta 2 hat is the estimator for beta 2 and mu i hat is the estimator of mu i. So this is how it is given. Now, I would call this part because this part over here is given to me by the sample. This is your random part. So this I can estimate with the help of my sample. So I'm taking it as y i hat since I can estimate this plus mu i hat. Hence the y i is the total of y i hat and mu i hat. So why I have done this? The reason is because these tricks, these shortcuts or you can call them these formulas will help you in later stages. Now I can write mu i hat as a difference of y i and y i hat. That is what I have exactly done. Now I have substituted the value of y i hat, which is beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x i. So this is the capital x i over here. So I have got this equation. Now, whenever we talk about regression, we always use the technique of OLS to estimate the value of slope parameter and the intercept over here. So in OLS, what we actually do is we try to minimize an error term. So error terms can be positive, they can be negative. So if I try to minimize them directly, what is going to happen in the stretch, some of the positive and negative terms will cancel out each other. To, hence, to avoid such problems, what we do is, under the method of OLS, we try to minimize the square of error term. So I will do the square of every error term, then I will take their total, and then I will minimize that thing. So I have got the value of error term for every value of xi. Now I need to do the square of this and I will be adding all the error terms for all numbers. Okay, so now I have come to the method of OLS where I have told you that you have to do the square and do the summation. So mu i hat ka value we got on the previous page. I'm just doing it square and doing the summation. Now, whenever we have to minimize or maximize the thing, we always have to differentiate that. We have to find its derivative. So here, because my objectives are to find beta 1 and beta 2 hat, so I will be differentiating with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat only. So differentiating mu i hat square with respect to beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat. So when I do the derivative, what will happen? The 2 power comes in front, summation as it is, Remaining power is 1 and when I do the derivative of the terms inside the bracket with respect to beta 1 hat, I will get minus 1. Now first order condition says that put the first derivative equal to 0. So I have put it equal to 0. So now solving. So minus 1 can come out of summation. So 2 into minus 1 will be minus 2. But when minus 2 goes to the other side, it will become 0 because it's in multiplication here. So I'm going to just left with summation yi. Now I'm opening the summation. So summation yi, if I give summation to beta 1 hat, since beta 1 hat is going to be a number. So when I'm summating it, whatever times I'm going to add it. So if I try to add 2 5 times, 
what can I write? 5 into 2, right? Same way, if I'm adding beta 1 hat n times, it will become n beta 1 hat. Now, giving summation to this, beta 2 hat is in multiplication. That is why I'm not writing n beta 2 hat. So, beta 2 hat is a constant. It will come out and summation will go with xi, putting it equal to 0. After this thing, I'm going to get this equation. I've taken these two terms to the right hand side. And this is my final equation, which I'm calling as equation number 1, because I will need it later on. Now, in the same way, I will be differentiating my mu i hat square with respect to beta 2 hat. So, in same manner, what will happen? 2 comes in front, remaining power 1. And when I do the derivative with respect to beta 2, minus x i would be left. So, 2 has come in front. 2 minus 1 is 1 only. Then the derivative of the inside terms with respect to beta 2 hat gives me minus x i. Again, if 2 goes to the other side, will become 0. Let's open the summation. Minus again, I can take along with 2. Let me open the summation. So, summation y i x i minus beta because here I am not going to write n beta 1. The reason is because beta 1 hat is going to get multiplied with x i when I will first multiply them and then I am opening the summation. So, since it becomes a constant, constant you don't do not summate. It will come out as it is. So, what I am doing is beta 1 hat x i. Since this was minus, you have taken to the other side. So, x i into minus beta 1 would hat would be minus beta 1 hat summation x i. But because I know it, it's 0, so I can take these two terms to the other side directly. That is what I have done. Then, this will also be negative. So, if it goes to the other side, it will become beta 2 hat x i square. So, a correction here. It's going to be summation x i square. It is this. So, this is going to be my equation number 2. So, for finding the value of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat, I just have to solve equation 2 and equation 1 simultaneously. Well, equation 1 gives you a direct answer for beta 1 hat. How? Let us see. So, if you divide this whole equation, with the help of n. Because if you divide summation y i with n, n beta 1 hat by n plus beta 2 hat summation x i by n, what it is going to become? It will become y bar cancel out beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat summation x i by n will be x bar. So, beta 1 hat is equal to y bar minus beta 2 hat x bar. So, if I try to divide equation 1 with n, I get the value of my beta 1 hat. Now, if I put this value of beta 1 hat here and I will solve the equation number 2, this is the value of beta 2 hat which I am going to get. So, with this method, you can derive the value of beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat in all kind of functional forms of your regression where you can use the method of OLS. I hope you will find this video useful. Please like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone for watching.